Not everyone experiences awakening in exactly the same way although there are general themes that are common to many. Some people may have an awakening where the sense of a separate self falls away but they just carry on with normal everyday life going to work and living much as they did before. Others seem to have much more intense and dramatic awakenings which leaves nothing untouched and life changes quite dramatically. I will briefly describe some of the initial experiences that do seem to apply to many with some variations. The first signs are often that the old ego strategies and manipulations don't work anymore, you realize you are not in control and really have never been. Whatever control you thought you had or seemed to have was illusory. Often there is a feeling of gigantic failure. All of the striving, efforting, all of the doing no longer works in the way it used to. The ego really doesn't like this at all. You may suddenly realize that everything previously had been built on sand and made from sand and now your sandcastle is being washed away by the incoming tide. As you stand on the edge of the void existential fear may come, it is a fear of being nothing, of no longer existing. All you can do is be willing and surrender. Fear shakes you around for a while, it seems like it is the fear you have been running from all of your life, and here it is to be felt and to be faced. You are facing into the storm and you stay because there is nowhere to run and nowhere to hide anymore. Finding out what is on the other side of this is part of the process of awakening. At the same time or sometime before or after there may come the energetic awakening and rising of Kundalini. This can bring feelings of sublime bliss beyond anything you had ever previously known. This can last for anything from hours to months or longer and is like a spiritual honeymoon. There is no guarantee that Kundalini will rise but it does often and more usually accompany an awakening. You may notice that you now seem to be heading in the opposite direction to the world and to most people you know. It feels like a complete turnaround and this seems to be part of the journey you have to do entirely alone although you also feel very connected to the way life is wanting to move into the whole of life. You begin to notice the mind is often still or very much quieter than before, the mental noise is absent for increasingly longer periods and this becomes normal. You realize this is your natural state. Mind chatter is now experienced as very uncomfortable and unnatural. The above tend to be the main first signs of spiritual awakening. There is usually a process that unfolds over time following a genuine awakening which is a process of purification and the falling away of the old conditioning.